On the breakfast, exactly eight months today, the Academic Staff Union of University, ASU, suspends its industrial action conditionally. We have further discussion on this development. Also on the breakfast, Niger's Flamingos expected to shrug off their 2-1 loss to Germany as they face New Zealand today. In their second match, Monday Thomas joins us in the conversation. And don't forget, we'll also be looking through today's newspapers, analyzing the biggest stories of the day. We call it Off the Press. It's a beautiful Friday morning, and as some people would say, thank God it's Friday. I hope you're having a great and fantastic day already. I am Messia Bokwo. We start off uh, with our show, uh, Top Trending on Plus TV Africa. And uh, first on our Top Trending this morning is that a former Big Brother housemate, he goes by the name Rico Suave, has died. And now Rico Suave, uh, like we rightly mentioned, is an alumni. And yesterday, I mean, prior to yesterday, uh, there's been, you know, the conversation that uh, he was involved in a ghastly accident and that led him to the hospital. And of course, he was on life uh, support at the time, but he couldn't make it. But, you know, what's even very saddening is, uh, you know, the video that also surfaced. Now, the video that surfaced is... Uh, very saddening because in that video uh, you would see the uh, auxiliary nurses or I mean attendant being very casual about uh, the victim of course uh, Rico Suave who was lying almost lifeless at that point and then they were making videos and then they were actually laughing and what have you it's, it's been a very saddening uh, you know situation for Nigerians really sad the entertainment world and you know the entire people Nigerians have actually lost this one I'm sure a lot of people don't have like some personal uh, relationship with Rico Suave but it was really touching because mm. there's a young man who's been caught at his prime about 29 years old and uh, the internet hasn't stopped buzzing his colleagues have also not stopped you know reacting prior to nine there was a fundraiser that was put out and uh, the fundraiser was just to ask for support uh, because we understand what it would mean the cost of having one on life support but really what a lot of persons are talking about right now is that video of a certain hospital. I would actually not mention the hospital. We're hoping that the investigation will be carried out. But it's a very popular hospital around the Axis. And uh, this hospital also, a lot of persons have come out to say, hey, they have been very careless. So many persons have actually lost their lives. But let's get to the crux of the matter. To be very honest, uh, as much as we're asking that in 2023, we need to have you know leadership, uh, quality leadership we need to have, we need to elect those who would represent our interests, we need to have great leaders. It's also important that we pay attention, you know, to the attitude that we have towards work and towards one another. And that video is really saddening. And I'm, I know that, you know, those who are friends and family of Rico Suave are already threatening, you know, to sue the hospital for negligence and unprofessionalism. That would be the word. But it brings us back to the fact that as a people, as a country, it feels like we've lost our humanity, really. How do you describe the fact that you see someone who's lifeless? Uh, you see the body language. It was so not, it was not challenged. No, 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 no urgency. And it feels like all of the urgency, we get to see that in the movies. Because usually when you see some of the movies and you see some scenes in the movies, you see some, uh, you know, parts of the movies where um, people actually get to act. There's a lot of, you know, people are serious. People act in a certain way. And what have you, you know, trying to rescue or save a life of a person. And what happens to those who swore an oath to protect, you know, the, to save lives? It's, it's totally saddening. It's, it's very dis despicable. And like I always say, we can't constantly blame the president or the governor or, you know, those who have elected in different spaces. Because I say that if we all do the right thing in a different sphere, then we would have a better country. And some people have said, oh, what do you expect when you have, you know, the professionals, all of the doctors and nurses leaving who are qualified? But it goes beyond all of that. I don't understand. It's a matter of saying you have to be 
uh, you know, the sympathy and empathy. And so what happens to empathy? Putting yourself in the shoes of this young man. Maybe if they actually treated the issue uh, with a lot of seriousness and also thought that he was a human being, maybe, just maybe, uh, the young man would be alive today. But it just goes to show that even if we get to elect a Jesus to become the president in 2023, it wouldn't take out the fact that those who are following, those who are in the system, need to do better because we might not, just not really get it. And that's what it is. But we'll move away from that. It's really sad. We pray that uh, Rico Suave uh, finds peace wherever he is. And that's it. Another on the top trending is that lecturers have ordered the arrest of a lady for using skateboards on campus. And uh, the... Uh, and uh, the, the management actually put out a statement. It was a statement that was put out by the management talking about using a skateboard. A skateboard. And I understand how that would feel, especially you know, when it feels like we're trying to compete with other parts of the world. However, the school management has said that it's illegal for you to you know, skate in uh, public space. Uh, there's actually a space where you're supposed to, the parks, and actually reserve areas for all of this. But uh, they've also found that the medium and how, you know, this information was actually put out. And that's it. And under the, uh, just before we move away from the top trending conversation, another is that the appeal court have discharged Namdi Kanu. <laughs> uh, yesterday, in the internet was actually literally on fire. And uh, that's because we know, uh, we understand the dynamics, we understand, you know, the conversation that's been on with uh, Namdi Kano. So a court of appeal sitting in Abuja, that's a federal capital territory, upheld that uh, uh, the detained leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, Namdi Kano, uh, should be acquainted and, of course, uh, he should be let free and that he's been detained unlawfully. He's been held, you know, uh, illegally and that's it. But let's even get to the conversation. Is it that the conversation about him being held illegally has not been on top of the front burner? And what a lot of persons are talking about is why at this particular time? Why is he, you know, being asked uh, is it being released at this time? Because it feels like there's almost an antecedent and there are theories that are already flying you know, from one side to another side. Now in 2019, if you remember, he was a wanted you know, person and all of a sudden he was missing, but he, he surfaced. And what happened was uh, he was calling for a referendum at the time where there was going to be an election, presidential election. Don't forget at that time in 2019, Atikwa Bubaka, Peter Obi were running for, you know, the office of the president, vice president, as it were, and having to, you know, ask that there be a seat at home, a boycott. A lot of persons are thinking that this might just also be uh, a case that might, you know, happen for 2023. Exactly five months or thereabout before the general elections, you have Namdi Kanu being, you know, discharged. He, you know, his case was treason. And you're saying that you have committed a crime against, you know, the state. And that's a huge one. Even though some persons are saying you don't have any substance, all of a sudden the, the, the court cases or the issues have actually been dropped and he's been asked to go as a free man. Well, fingers across, we'll see how all of this pans out. And that's so much we can take this morning on a Top Trending. We'll take a break and when we return, uh, the conversation continues right here. Please stay with us.